start up with those three things, it's gonna be much easier. You lose your belly fat, you lose your inflammation, you get the best physique that you wish, that you really want to achieve. You can tell me, Tiago, please tell me if I'm doing this right. I'm exercising, I start the year exercising every single day. I'm gonna tell you, forget it, that's not enough if you are doing those three things that I'm gonna tell you. If you are not avoiding those three things, nothing will matter. Tiago, please, I'm taking supplements every single day because I want to change. I'm gonna tell you, doesn't matter. You need to avoid those three, three things anyway that I'm gonna tell you. Tiago, I stopped having sugar. From day one, January, I already doing really great. I'm really proud of myself because I'm not having sugar so far. I'm gonna tell you. Congratulations, but remember, this will not guarantee that you're gonna get to your goals and sustain that if you keep doing those three things. So if you're here, you need pen and paper because right now, you're gonna write down all those three things because that, guys, it's gonna be crucial for you. Crucial. Guys, are you ready? Pay attention to this. Straight to the point, straight to the point. Come, come, come here. If you're washing the dishes, if you are driving your car, if you are doing whatever, avoid distractions because you need to pay attention to this. Guys, three things that you need to avoid in 2024, <laughs> any year, if you want to achieve your goals, any year. Those three things is destroying any results that you want to get. First thing that you need to pay attention. I see this mistake every single day, every single day. Those people who have this characteristic, the first thing that you need to avoid, write this down. The first thing that I have to avoid at all costs will be having the all or nothing thinking, all or nothing mentality. When I was young, 15, 17 years old, I was in my hometown. And then one person in my family, I will not say her name, she was extremely smart, but she had the all or nothing mentality, the all or nothing thinking. She always wanted to, to go to the best score ever. She always wanted to do the maximum score in her exams. Every single time that she had a little bit lower, Guess what happened? She always cried. She destroyed her entire day. She was like inside her room all day just because she was not getting maximum score at high school. All or nothing mentality. And then she literally gave up for some time. Sometimes she literally gave up, stopped. She literally stopped studying for some time. And imagine, she was the best in the class. She was like a nerd. But she was... Her mentality of all or nothing was so strong that she literally was sabotaging herself like crazy. Many of you do this. Many of you. You say, I'm going to stop having sugar. I'm going to stop having sugar this year. I'm going to... And then you, you don't make any real plan. You don't make a holistic plan. You just do like a crazy plan and say, I'm going to... I know that sugar is unhealthy. I'm going to stop having sugar. Then you stop having sugar. You stop eating carbs. And then you stop drinking coffee. And then you stop drinking wine. And then you stop having cakes and savory. Like you literally go or nothing. And then you say to yourself, you don't use that word, but in your thought, there is a thought inside of you saying every single day, I'm going to do this all in, all in. If I fail, I'm going to give up. If I, made them, if I make a mistake, I'm going to give up. And then you start dieting, going crazy, doing all those crazy diets, stopping sugar forever, thinking that you're going to, Stop having sugar forever. And then your friend comes to you and say, Maria, let's have let's hang out here on holiday. Uh, we are next to your house. Come here. And then you go. And then all your friends, your best friends are there. Everybody's drinking wine. Everybody is having a crosser. Everybody's eating pizza. And then you forgot about your promise. And then you eat a little bit. What happens? You start criticizing yourself. Boom, 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 boom. Like that thought saying, you failed. You failed. You promised that you would avoid sugar forever at, at the beginning of the year, and then you failed. Guess what's going to happen? Because you have that poor mentality of all or nothing thinking, you literally beat yourself and say, mm, I failed. I, yes, I made that mistake. Ah, screw it. It doesn't, it, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to just stay that way. I'm going to just, I'm going to give up. No, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. The, the, the phrase, the famous phrase of all of you who, have that self-sabotage, have all or nothing mentality. You, you always say, no, that's not for me. No, that's never worked. It, it, it's not the diet. 
itself. It's it's me. It's myself. Yes, it's yourself. It's that mentality that that you have. Anybody who have all or nothing thinking, they are close, close to have depression, to have anxiety. Because imagine, even successful people, you can have money. For example, there are many people who have that all or nothing mentality, and then they will go all in. They have $100 million dollars in their bank account, but inside they have a lot of anxiety. They cannot sleep because they ruminate 1,000 thoughts. They don't, they don't have that inner peace. They don't feel good enough inside. They're always seeking something. There is always something else because they are all in. That's super dangerous if you want to have a real, real healthy life, mental, your mental health in high levels, your emotional health. Otherwise, if you tell me, no, no, Thiago, if I can earn $1 million every month, but I feel super anxious for, the, for me to achieve that, and I cannot sleep every single day, and I have a big belly because of that, I'm fine with that. I prefer to have money, $1 million in my bank account. Okay, that's your life. I don't want that. I want to have both. I want to have everything. I want to have that equilibrium. One time of my life, I go harder, and then other parts of my life will be uh, deficient for some time because I cannot put all my attention to everything. For example, this year, I'm going to work hard in my, in my job, in my business. One example. All the parts of my, of my life can be less focused as long as I don't destroy my... For example, I'm going to go hard in my business, but I cannot reduce 100% my health. I need to keep my health here. Even if my if I'm not exercising extremely intense like last year, if it's not 100%, I drop 80% of the intensity because I'm going to put that difference of 20% putting effort to my business. I'm getting that. Oh, it's like wave. Life is like wave. But if you have that mentality of no, all or nothing, I'm going all in. I'm going to focus on losing that belly fat. If I don't achieve that, if I don't see the scale, 10, pound, 10 pounds lost in one month, forget it. I'm going to give up. And then how many times are you doing this? This is repeating. Guys, remember, never have this all or nothing mentality. Did you get that, right? Second thing, pay attention. Pay attention. Stay here with me. Follow my thoughts. This is crucial. If you don't pay attention now, you, you will not understand. You need to understand this. You need to understand this. Someone said, I want to lose 20 pounds. My goal for this year is to lose 20 pounds, especially around my belly, midsection, because my main goal is to fit in my clothes. I'm going to say that's the wrong goal. Huh? Remember this forever. Write this down. If your goal is your result, you are guaranteed that you're going to fail you will never sustain. Your goal should be your behavior. Your goal should not be, should it be losing 20 pounds? Your goal should be, what are the tasks that I need to do every single day for me to get this result? That's my goal. My goal will be the task, the daily task for, for me to achieve 20 pounds, to lose 20 pounds. Remember this forever. Your goal should not be your results. Otherwise, you will fail. Your goal should be your behaviors. You make a plan. Okay, my plan this year is to lose 20 pounds. But my main goal will be the, all the tasks, all the activities, every single day that I need to do to achieve these 20 pounds. Okay, for me to achieve these 20 pounds and never gain it back again, I'm, I have to eat foods that will reduce inflammation in my gut. I need to eat those type of foods that will balance my hormones properly. I need to do these habits here for me to control my anxiety and my stress and stop emotional eating. I'm going to do those tasks. And then every single day you are prioritizing your goal. That's your goal. That's your goal. Many of you never get to your goals, never sustain anything. You like you start something, you get some results, and then boom, after six months, you had a, a, an argument with your partner, boom, you destroyed your result. You had your baby, after you have your baby, boom, you destroyed your result. Pandemic, COVID, boom, after that, destroyed your result. Now you're on holiday, now you're back, boom, destroyed your result. You're, you're never sustaining anything. Why? Because you're not prioritizing what? Your goal should be your behavior. Your goal should not be your results. Your results will be just a consequence. Why is that, Jack? Because you cannot control. Your behavior you can control. Your tasks, 
for you to achieve that 20 pounds, that you can control. Did you get that? Follow me here, guys. Follow my thoughts. Follow my thoughts. Did you guys understand that? Hit that like button here because, guys, I'm telling you, if you hit that like button, if I receive the energy from you here, I'm going to blow your mind here. You give me that energy by hitting that button, like button, by sharing to people. You give me that energy, I give it back, that energy, to explode your mind. Hit that like button, because when you do this, Instagram will share with more people. Now, many people who are destroying their results because of this subject, they need to know what's going on inside there. Hit that like button, share to some people, comment here. I shared this, the, the video, I liked Say something, do something, be proactive. I want that engagement because I'm going to give you back that energy. Did you guys get that, right? Super important, you know that. Sabotaging yourself every single day is when you are focusing on your goals. Oh, is when your goals is your result instead of being focusing on your behavior. Second thing. Third thing, pay attention. Third thing, crucial. It's crucial, this. If you take your, all your supplements, if you are diet, if you're exercising Sunday to Sunday, it doesn't matter. If you are doing, if you are doing that mistake, it's gonna be impossible you sustain anything. Third thing that you need to avoid, write this down. You are having the wrong expectation in anything in your life. Wrong expectation, you will never have any sustainable result. Expectation, for example. You had the expectation, you always have the expectation every single day that your partner, everything that you ask for, that you ask for your partner, anything, your partner will always do for you. You have that mentality, okay, anything, like you don't say this word, but it's inside of you. Honey, can you do this for me, please? And then he does. Another time, you ask again, and then he cannot do. And then you, you get angry. You feel, oh, I'm, I'm angry. You feel angry, you, you completely change your emotional state. Why? Wrong expectation. You are expecting that your partner will do everything that you want. Another example, you started your relationship and then for three days, your partner gave you flowers. For those three days, you, you had created an, an expectation. Wow, gifts every single day. Gifts every single day. Like, pleasing me, he will, he will always give me something Every single time. And then now you are 30 years married. And then you don't receive any gift anymore. And then you're always pissed off. You're always angry. Ah, my husband never gave me anything. Ah, my, gay, my husband never helped me. Why? Wrong expectation. It's all about wrong expectation. If you... Same thing with weight loss. Same thing with inflammation. Same thing when you create an expectation of, okay, I expect to lose 10 pounds in one month. What's, what's the point? And then you start losing... After two weeks, you lost three pounds. And then you don't care. <laughs> I see this every day. I see this every day. The person put a target, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, or lose belly fat. Okay, I want to lose 10 centimeters around my waist to fit my jeans. Or another, another situation. The person has many, many different clothes that she's not fitting anymore. After three weeks, following something, doing everything right, she starts fitting some clothes, but she's not fitting yet in her favorite clothes. The clothes that she will, she needs to wear for a party that's coming in one month. She's not happy yet. She's frustrated yet. What's the problem with that? You are more likely. Anybody, this is what happens in your brain. Anybody who creates an expectation and the person doesn't achieve what she expects, the frustration is higher. In our brain, that our that's how your brain works. You have parts inside your brain that's always like a modulator. When the expectation is too high, the worst thing that you can do to your brain is when you don't achieve what you expect. Because nowadays we know that the, expect, the frustration is instead of being level, let's suppose you put, you, you do put like a normal expectation. You say, okay, my goal is that, but I'm going to just follow the process I, I just want to become healthy. I know it's a process. I just need to do my test. Like you create a achievable expect. You have a, 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 a realistic expectation. What's going to happen? If you feel frustrated, if you ate a cake, or if you made any mistake, I, I drank more alcohol than I should. But because your expectation was not super high, you what, what happens inside your brain? You don't criticize yourself too much. 
you say to yourself, okay, you are, you are more, you literally understand yourself. You accept yourself. You don't criticize yourself like crazy. You literally say to yourself, I made that mistake. I'm going to compensate tomorrow. This, just because your levels of frustration was not too high, you are more likely, all of you who have this mentality, you are more likely to sustain. But the other group of people who think like that, I have to achieve this. I cannot fail at all. I cannot eat any, any thing of sugar, anything with sugar. If they made one single mistake, they will, because they put a big expectation, what's going to happen? Frustration will be to level 10. What's going to happen? You are more likely to give up. That's what happens inside your brain. You need to understand what's happening inside your brain. Otherwise, you'll never sustain. Did you get that? Extremely important. Super important. Who here have this one of these uh, uh, mindset, kind of mindset? Tell me here if you have this mentality. What you need to expect is instead of having expectation, change your expectation for appreciation. Your husband, your husband sometimes forget to give you something, but all the times he gives you something. What you have to do, the kind of the right mindset is, wow, yeah, my, my husband is so busy. My husband has so, so many things to do, but he still have time to think about me and give me that. He still have some time, even being so busy, he still have some time to support me, to help me. You literally change the expectation for the appreciation. You want to lose 20 pounds. You expect to lose 20 pounds in three months. And then one month already, and you lost five pounds. Instead of creating that expectation of, oh my God, oh, I think that's going to be hard. I lose 20 pounds in two months. No, that, I think that I'm going to, and then you relax. No, I'm frustrated already. No, that's not for me. Instead of having that kind of poor mentality, you literally say what? Appreciation. You literally reshape saying, yeah, I really appreciate my efforts. I put a lot of efforts and I lost five pounds in one month. I really appreciate my behaviors. I'm exercising more. I'm eating that kind of food to reduce inflammation in my body. I'm modulating my hormones by eating those kind of foods. I'm eating that. I'm doing that habit every single day. I'm proud of myself. And then it is a it's just a conversation with you. It's inside inner. Like guys, is that inside conversation? That's only you with yourself. That's the best way for you to really sustain your result. Twist. Because remember, you go to you want. Everybody wants. Everybody wants. Everybody is in point A. Everybody wants to go to point B in something in life. Anybody have an achievement? Oh, ha have a goal. If you don't have a goal, if you just keep let your, your life dictate what's in front of you, and then you are just like adapted to this, that's a really bad life. You need to put some targets. Otherwise, you can look back. And then if your life is flat, you didn't conquer, you, need, you didn't achieve anything, you can feel depressed. One of the things nowadays we know in science, psychology, that... People can feel really bad mentally, even go to the level of depression, is when they look, keep thinking about the past. And if the past, if your past is flat, you didn't approve, you didn't achieve anything. All your life is the same. You repeat the same stuff every single day. You don't have new experiences. You're not improving anything. You don't have all the skills. Everything in your life is the same. Depression will be more likely to happen in your, in your brain. That's what you should have, you need to avoid. But remember. All of us, we are in point A. We want to go to point B. From this to here, from point A to point B, this process, when you are prioritizing this, this micro task, the, when you are doing the triple S, remember the triple S that I told you? All of you guys should apply the triple S. Small, simple steps. Focus on this because that should be your goal, not the results. When you are doing this, it's just by consequence. You achieve point B. Why is that? If you are in California, and if I'm in California as well, we want to go to New York. I'm going by car, and you are going by using your bike, cycling. You are gonna, uh, you're gonna to, you're going to New York cycling. I'm going driving. I'm gonna be faster, but if I give up in the middle of the route. I'm going to just stop. Oh, I'm going to just give up. Guess what's going to happen? Even if you are cycling, even if you are really slow like a turtle, 
Guess what's going to happen? It's just a matter of time. Time will be the thing that will make you go to and achieve and, and, and get to New York. What's going to happen? Same thing with your goals. No matter what, no matter, oh, no, guys, no matter what, pay attention to this. Write this down. Nobody can beat someone who never stops, who never give up. You can pause, but you cannot not stop. Pause for rest. I'm going to rest. I'm going to have a holiday for two weeks, but I'm going to come back. Because if you go cycling from New York, from California to New York, you're going to get there, even if it's going to be one year. It doesn't matter the time, but you will get there. And that's what matters. I'm going to be a loser if I start driving, going, my, all my expectation, all my goals is to go to New York. And then in the middle of the route, I literally give up. I'm going to be a loser if I do this. But you will never... You will never be a loser. You will always achieve any of your goals if you even slowly, even doing micro tasks, even getting like micro results every single day. Sooner or later, you're going to get there. That's the beauty of life. You have time. You have time. Don't, don't overestimate your year and don't underestimate your five years in five years from now. People overestimate 2024, but they underestimate in five years from now. So you need to have that long-term perspective as well. Anybody who have always short-term perspective, I have to lose 10 pounds in three weeks, otherwise I'm going to give up. Guess what's going to happen? You will never sustain that weight loss. Belly fat will keep getting bigger when you are 60. You just accepted life and then you're going to keep ruminating thoughts of your past, having regrets. That, that's what happens with those kind of mentalities, that kind of mentality. Did you get that? Someone said, amen. Amen. Someone said, uh, place, GGS place said, yes, consistency is the key in life for Exactly. Even if you are going slowly, it doesn't matter. But you remember, Tiago, it's hard to be consistent. Of course it's hard. But that's the point. It's hard when you think about the main, the big picture. The worst thing, if you are trying to be consistent, the worst thing to do is when you are constantly thinking about the big picture. Don't think about the big picture all the time. You just put in your paper. The big picture will be what? I don't know. Get married in October. That's a big picture. But what should I do for me to get married in October? The money that I need to save. So I'm going to work. I'm going to prioritize today the tasks that I should do. Same thing. Any goal, focus on the micro tasks because that's the secret to keep the consistency. Example. We know, check it out. Check it out. I never think ab constantly about all my all the benefits that my exercise will create in my body in one year from now. I never keep thinking about in one year from now about my fitness results. I just do what? I put in my plan. Okay, I want to be that fit in one year from now. After that, I literally forget that and then I keep focusing on the micro task daily. The daily micro, micro task for me to achieve that goal. Guys, that's the secret to keep the consistency. Secret. And never having that all or nothing thinking. That's that. That's the worst. I have no idea. That's the worst. Have that mentality. Yes. Yeah, someone said change and focus in on on what you do exactly. Never on what you cannot do. Who else? Oh yeah. Be kind of on your journey, guys. If you one of the things that I put in my program, one of the tasks is. Don't criticize yourself when you make a mistake. The worst thing is criticizing when you make a mistake. That, that's the point. People who have that all or nothing mentality, they have the terrible expectation that they are supposed to do everything perfect. They are thinking that they have to do everything perfect. Once they fail, they give up. That's why they never sustain. So don't judge yourself. Don't, that's the worst thing. Don't judge. Encourage yourself constantly. Me. Someone said me. Someone, Zarmina said, had before, but not now, just with sugar. Yeah, tell me more about this. Yeah, from, a, from expectation to appreciation. Exactly. Who else? Who else? Who else? Tell me your insights here, guys. I like, to, I like knowing your insights, what you got. Hit that like button, guys. By the way, hit that like button because bring that energy to this. Bring that energy. Let's spread energy. Life is energy. 
I tend to be very hard. Oh, someone, Margaret said, I tend to be very hard on myself, but I'm learning to be a little more gentle. Exactly. Calm down. When you talk with yourself, calm down. Relax. Do you, know, do you want to know a secret? Wake up. Go to the power posture. I have a training talking about this. Power posture nowadays, you can even increase it more than 10% your testosterone levels, depending on your posture. Go to the sunlight. You're going to start modulating your hormones through your retina. Retina is the place that you start modulating your what? Your cortisol and your melatonin hormone. I We're going to talk about this more in another life. Go to the window. Look at, like, don't talk to anybody. Don't talk to your partner, to anybody. Wake up. Power posture. Breathe in. Breathe out. Talk to God and say, God, thanks for this day. I accept that my life can be the best life if I choose to create that life today. So bring me bring me effort bring, or bring me strength. Bring me wisdom. I want to do my best today. I'm going to do my best today. I will not criticize myself. I'm going to encourage myself. So I, start talking to you and to God once you wake up doing the right stuff for you to modulate, reshape your neurons. You are literally doing the stimulus. Remember, I told you this already. Each cell in your body, including your neurons, is pay attention to your thoughts. If you start your morning by doing strategy like that, you are more likely to succeed throughout the day and more likely to criticize yourself less. You reduce your chances of criticizing yourself when you start your morning like that. Got it? Having a deep conversation, just you, by yourself, alone, guys, alone. You're more likely to, to understand yourself when you are by yourself, when you're alone. Inner peace is all about that. Laurie said, definitely in the past, much better now, but I'm cons constantly working on most beating myself up and trying not to be perfect. Exactly. Don't try to be perfect. Never try to be perfect. Try to be better. That's it. Better is the point. Tiago, what progress means? Progress. All human beings need progress. If they don't feel that they're having progress, they feel depressed, literally. That's what happens in your brain, psychologically. What progress means? Getting better. Just focus on getting better. A little bit better. It doesn't matter. It's getting better. Big win today. Celebrate. And, but focus on being better tomorrow. Just because you had a big win today, don't relax. I see many people, I lost, I don't know, I lost 10 pounds. They relax. No, guys, you're, you will not die tomorrow. Your life didn't finish yet. You still have like decades and decades to live. Every day you should seek something for you to go better, to do better, to be better. Always you need to keep seeking. Keep seeking something that's challenging for you to overcome. Show your brain some pain because once you win a pain, anything that's challenging, after that, you feel that pleasure that you won. I don't want to take cold shower, but I will take cold shower because my brain will not dictate anything to me. My brain will not control me. Just because I don't want to take cold shower, I'm going to take cold shower. I have a cake in front of me. In front of me. I'm, I'm, oh my God, I'm going crazy with that cake, but on purpose, I will not eat. I could eat, but I, on purpose to show my brain that I'm literally controlling myself, I will not eat that cake. And then after that hard task, you feel proud of yourself. Do this test. Daily, you need to find challenges for you to overcome. Small challenge. Because one, every, that's why you feel lo a loser when you fail. You have a cake, and then you let your emotions control yourself. I, des I deserve. I deserve to have a cake. No, 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 no. Don't allow this. You say, I don't deserve to eat that cake. I deserve to feel great. I deserve to have a lot of energy. I deserve to have low energy. I deserve to decide when to eat that cake. Right now is not the time, so I will not eat that cake because I, I control myself. So I become on purpose to prove to myself that I control myself. I'm going to work in front of this computer and I'm going to put this cake in front of the computer. Let's see if I cannot control myself. And then you challenge yourself. You have no idea how, like you, you win your day. You feel amazing after that. Try this. Try this. Just try. Sometimes I feel, no, I, I'm super lazy to, to run in the park. And then I, all of a sudden, no, but I will. I will. I'm not having the desire to go, but I will on purpose. And then I put, I literally, if your brain show you laziness, 
You literally change that. You literally do the opposite. You feel amazing after that. Why is that, Tiago? Because in one, one part of your brain, we are going to discuss about that, by the way. You have pain, the same area in your brain that's responsible for pain and pleasure, they are in the same place. Every single time that you have a lot of pain, you do like a big challenge task. For example, your boss told you to do like a big task. Once you complete, what happens? You feel better. You feel good. Yes, I completed that. If you don't complete, you feel what? Loser. Right? That it's crucial when you modulate pain pleasure. When you put pain first, automatically you are more likely to receive a pleasure. That sense of accomplishment that you won. It's amazing, guys. Every day do this. Okay? Talk to you soon.